Eh, estamos con Elena, Elena Yulín, que es la Industry Head de Travel en uh, Suecia. Eh, hello, Elena. It's a pleasure to have you here in uh, Madrid. And uh, we'll take advantage of that opportunity to know a little bit more about the uh, travel online in, uh, in Sweden and even in the, in the rest of Scandinavia. And the first question that we have is, uh, what are the uh, most important players in that market? But the OTAs, the suppliers, would like to know a little bit more uh, uh, what are the companies that are controlling the market. Okay. Um, when it comes to flights, we have, of course, SES, which is, uh, I think, their number four, the biggest uh, uh, airline in Europe. Uh, hotels, we have uh, choice hotels and stuff, Pesido. Um, but when it comes to online, uh, I think the biggest, uh, most important players in the online industry is actually a company called Sensi Resigruppa, which recently parted with another company called C24. Uh, and they have recently developed a company called ETI, and we're very, very excited about this new company. Uh, some other big players, um, uh, that's basically those actually, that's the most important. Mm -hmm. Of course we have TUI, we have Expedia, and they're also big, um, but they're not Nordic based. And what will be for you the main trends of the uh, Swedish market? Uh, how a company should address that market? Mm -hmm. um, market when it comes to travel, it's actually divided, when you look at the, the, the travel bookings, it's actually divided half and half when it comes to um, people booking themselves and people actually buying charters. Um, and also another characteristic of the Swedish travel market or the Nordic travel market is that um, it's spread over the year, people are traveling, traveling all over the year. And we have three months of summer, and the rest of the year it's uh, pretty dark. So people are actually, in the winter people are traveling long haul to get away. In the summer people are traveling because the whole of Sweden closed down for two months. So in the summer it's hotels, hotels, hotels everywhere. And in the winter it's long haul flights, it's Thailand. Yeah, I think Thailand is one of the most important destinations, actually. And some other... In the summer it's Turkey, Greece, uh, the Nordic countries, Germany. Um, Swedish people are also very price sensitive, so that's also very important. It's also a very uh, important characteristic to have in mind. Um, what else can you keep in mind? Um, that's basically on top of my head. <laughs> uh, Joe, there are a lot of uh, managed uh, travel in, uh, in uh, Scandinavia. I guess that also there is room for package holidays. Yes. I guess there are many players that have decided to sell online, not just hotel and uh, flight separately, but just to offer the package. Uh, this is working uh, really properly in the Scandinavia. Yeah, it actually is. It's working really good because when it comes to package holidays, like charter, it's a package holiday. Everything in Sweden is called charter when it's packaged. And you divide with the people that pick their travel themselves. It's actually, I think, out of the total market, it's like 50-50 between those two. Charter or package holidays actually have a big share in Sweden still. Uh, and I think that uh, if you look at when it comes to short haul, when you have like Europe, mm -hmm. Nordic, it's, it's not so common. But especially when, when Swedish people are going out of Europe, they really want to have the package deals, etc. So shorter is more important outside of Europe. Probably because people are a little bit reluctant to, <laughs> yeah, to run on, risk. Yeah, to run on flight. But through. I guess that in all these cases, uh, the, the travelers, the potential clients, are using uh, uh, Google as a mean to look for information, for services. Uh, that's where they begin to look for the travel, yeah. is that right? Yeah. Google is very big when it comes to travel searches. I think we actually have something about 86% of travel searches in the Nordic market. Uh, it's 
not so very uncommon actually that when, when I'm in a meeting with a you know, major player, uh, there are kind of worries that Google are going to go into the travel agency business. Of course, I don't believe we are. Uh, but but uh, since we're so big and we have all the clients, it's, it's a common question. And uh, what are your uh, point of view of the uh, the strategies, the coordination of the strategies of these big offline players uh, uh, facing the challenges of the online business? Do you think that there are a lot of possibilities for these uh, offline players to take advantage of the uh, online? Uh, is there any of them that actually are doing that in uh, Scandinavia or in Sweden especially? Uh, overall of Sweden, and that comes actually to all sectors and verticals of business, is a huge gap. There are very many people out there looking for business, and there are very few players that actually have adopted and working and have a well-developed strategy with online. Uh, today I still believe that very of the, of the big players are only working on somewhat like 25 to 30 percent of the potential how they should work with, with search and online uh, to really be out there. Uh, the, the, the people that or the companies that really are the winners on this are smaller agencies, you know, like competitors uh, that's really adopting online. They're faster, they're more flexible, they have shorter decision paths. Uh, and they have much more developed this. We're still struggling with, with the, the big players. Okay. So thanks a lot for uh, your opinions and your expertise on the Swedish market. And we hope to see you again many times in Madrid. Thanks, Elena. Thank you, Javier.